Sorry, YouTubers and Mad fans. This is Mad Money Shot sniffing out the Mad Cheese as always. I got some more plays out of my single back wing flex. This is part two. If you guys didn't see part one, I'll pop a link for that. Um, this is definitely one of my most used formations in my gameplay videos. If you guys ever watch my gameplay videos, uh, which I'm pretty much putting out every other day now, uh, which, you know, I, I, for a while there, I didn't put out any gameplay videos, but I had a lot of people saying they wanted to see my plays in action. So uh, I eventually, uh, you know, became, it's really become a regular part of my channel. And I have a ton because I play weekend leagues every weekend now. Uh, which something wasn't something I was doing. But either way, uh, this, like I said, click the link. It'll be in the description or it should be popping up now uh, for part one. Uh, definitely a very uh, consistent money play uh, in the first one. Uh, but this one here, we're getting explosive. Today we're going to do, uh, I got two one play touchdowns out of this formation and I'm going to go over them uh, here in a minute. Uh, but like I said, if you guys want to see a full breakdown of the Saints playbook, I have all that information in my uh, description below. You get on my Patreon, you get on a full breakdown video on on YouTube or you can get on, a, on an ebook which a lot of people like on uh, madmoneyshot.com but either way let's go ahead and let's get in the first play I'm excited to bring you this uh, next play which I didn't show in the first one here it's the PA Saints out uh, but to be honest with you the other play um, that's very similar is the PA Saints wide cross which I broke down in the first video so uh, I'll probably touch on that again in this video there's, there's about two or three more plays that I want to do uh, but this is a very good formation so let's go ahead and let's pick the PA Saints out and like I said, this is a one play touchdown against a cover three. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run it against cover three. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to move the ball back uh, real quick because, you know, you need space for these one play touchdowns. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go back. I'm going to say at least 50 yards. Uh, I'd like to move it back even further because I don't want to run into any issues. So we're going to pick that. Now, something that's unique about this formation is you have your number one wide receiver typically on the inside, um, kind of working in the slot. So just make sure that you have your fastest receiver there because I really didn't mention that. Anytime you do these one-play touchdowns, you want either your fastest receiver or your best receiver. Uh, it really doesn't matter. Uh, but either way, this play here, you can run this. I showed uh, the first play that I showed. Like I said, I'll touch up on it more um, here in a minute. But the first play that I showed in the first video, uh, I ran in something similar to this where I just had the, the tight end. was He was not running a slant, uh, but you can still mirror that by slanting Fleener and then putting Hill in a drag. And he'll still work really good. This play will work really good in similar fashion to that first play I showed where the running back's going to get open. Man, he really just juked both of those guys. <laughs> it was disgusting. <laughs> All right, it's so real simple. I'm just going to put Thomas here on an out route. I'm going to do that pre-motion because I'm going to motion him over and he's going to already be set. You can motion him over to put him on an out route after. It really doesn't matter. Then I'm going to put um, Hill here. I'm not Hill. I'm sorry. Fleener here on a pass block. And then I'm going to put the triangle route on a swing right. Real simple. Now I'm just going to roll out, and we're going to pass lead to the outside, and then you can see Gins pretty much just gone. It's that simple. Real, real easy one play touchdown. Uh, this motion here, it's not going to give anything away. I, I showed a play in the first video uh, that was a very similar uh, motion, so it's not going to be a tell or a giveaway um, to what the play is, so I wouldn't worry. Don't worry about that. But I'll go ahead and run it a couple different times. Like I said, I think the further over you run, the better. Um, and then, like I said, just pass leading to the to the outside is really key. As you can see, he's just getting a huge separation there. The motion to the outside and the pass lead to the outside is really what makes this play work. And then, obviously, I mean, I have another one play touchdown that I use quite a bit uh, against cover three. Um, where you basically, uh, have, I don't want to say blocking is an issue, but I only have one tight end blocking in that particular play. Or this one here, you got two, so you should really have no issue. Uh, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna pass lead that up. Bradbury almost got back that time. <laughs> he almost got back, but no, it didn't happen. I would say it might be beneficial to run this as close to the sideline as possible too, as close to the far hash mark. As possible so we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll run this over again now because you can see how I'm almost running out of bounds pretty much every time because of the dramatic uh, throwing arc so we'll go ahead and we'll do this again I'll pass lead to the right and bullet pass and it's just he just gets right behind that corner and he's gone so there's a couple different adjustments that make this effective and I'm not talking about the, the, the audibles. I'm not talking about the route audibles. I'm talking about the pass leading, the bullet pass, and the rollout by Breeze. Uh, but like I said, you got two tight ends blocking. If they can't set that edge, I don't even know what to say. Because that's the biggest issue with these one-play touchdowns. 
is um, is the uh, the pass blocking a lot of times. If you can't set your feet, you don't get it. If it's a cover one, I mean, a cover one should have the same effect too. I'm running against cover three, but anytime you have a single high safety is, is the point. Any single high safety play, this will work. I'll try it out against cover cover four and against cover two in a second. Uh, against cover two, though, the circle routes should just work right up the middle. So, pass lead that outside, gets behind this gets behind the corner, bada bing. And Bradbury's a good corner too. He's definitely fast, so he should be able to make up that, but he can't. So a real simple play. And like I said, you can always, if you motion the guy over, if you don't like the look, you know, say say they adjust to it, they start sending some crazy heat, then you could always just send it back the other way. Um, and then you can see how, you know, you have you have a good play on the other side just by leaving that tight end. So a couple different options this play. We'll go ahead and we'll move on to the next one play touchdown play. It's a little bit misleading when I said I have two different one play touchdowns in this because the other one is the first play that I showed, uh, which is the uh, the PA Saints wide cross. Um, that's that's essentially uh, the same. Like I said, it's the same play. It's it's the same setup. But I'll go ahead and I'll go over it real quick. I think from this particular uh, play, it's uh, probably better. But like I said, you're just going to do the exact same thing. I mean, you, you have the same route with Gin, which is the point. Um, but this play, I would say, because this play is more versatile, I would probably use this play to start uh, because, you know, it, it's, it's to me, the best play in the formation. And now that it's also a one-play touchdown, uh, it's it's even better. So, uh, but like I said, you're just going to want to block Fleener here, uh, block Hill, put uh, put Homeboy here on, a, uh, on an out route, and it's the same setup. And we'll just go ahead and we'll run. It looks like they might be sending some crazy. This is actually, I think this is a cover one. <laughs> yeah, so I, I don't even think I hit cover three. I don't even think I hit random cover three, but it's whatever. You can see how it works the same way. Yeah, so this play just keeps getting better and better. I'm not going to run it a bunch of times because obviously you just saw it. Uh, but the original play, I was running it like this. And it was it's just a guaranteed play to the running back. And now, like I said, if you see, if you come out in this play and, and you see cover three, boom. You just switch it over to the one play touchdown. Uh, setup which I showed you so like this here it looks like a single high safety so if I came out expecting to run this to the running back I see something that I like which is hey anytime I see a single high safety I can switch this over which is exactly how I run another play uh, too by the way and they send it some crazy heat it is a cover three but it don't matter they send the whole house they sent the whole house but I had two guys blocking so it didn't matter you see how that works it's just like that that looked like that actually looked like an engage eight because I only saw three guys in coverage, and all I had to do was roll out because, like I said, two blocking tight ends. There's not a real, there's not a lot of blitzes that's gonna that's gonna beat that. So once again, I see a single high safety. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna do the adjustment. It's a cover one, but it's gonna work the same way. It doesn't matter because that cornerback followed. They can send a crazy house blitz if they want to, and they are, <laughs> and they get me to the sack. But that's the only real issue is, is sometimes, you know, pressure can, can can break that play up. But if they're not pressuring, it's going to be good to go. So we're going to move on to the next play. There's some really good uh, concepts out of this, like the four verticals, which is really good against cover three. But since I just showed a, a one-play touchdown, I don't think that it's the best play against cover three. Um, but the four verticals is definitely a good play. So we'll go ahead and we'll pick that. Uh, and I'll just show it to you. I mean, if you guys don't know, anytime you got a cover three, the X route or the circle route uh, will be pretty much open here uh, right up the seam. As you can see, I, I, I picked random by mistake, but you can see that was a, probably a cover three. This looks like a cover two, so it's not really going to have the same effect. Um, but, uh, you know, there's I'll pass lead outside. That was actually, that actually, you know what I'm saying? So you have a route against anything here. So this will be effective against anything but man coverages. So here it looks like another cover three. We're going to pass lead inside with the circle route. You can see we got a big play. I mean, this is just, if you can make reads, this is just a really hard stop setup. This looks like a cover two or a cover four. So we're going to go, that's actually a cover three. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? I hear people get mad when people run this play, but there's a lot of really good adjustments uh, to run to it. So this here looks like, I don't know what that was. It looks like a man. Like I said, it won't work against man coverages. That's the only thing. There's no real adjustment for man coverages or no real read for man coverages. Here we go, cover two. We're going to go outside <laughs> to Thomas. This is like, it's so easy. So a real simple setup. If it's uh, if it's Thomas, I'm sorry, if it's cover two, Thomas, pass lit outside. He'll let pass lit outside of work. If it's uh, cover three, Fleener, or again, pass lit inside or outside. Uh, but something you definitely want to have in your arsenal. 
Yeah, another good play to play off of that is the slip screen because you have the same streaking uh, receivers for the most part. And then if your opponent's getting uh, frustrated by trying to stop the four verticals, hit them with a screen. You know what I'm saying? It's always an effective. Um, you know, they'll try to be trying to figure out some defense to drop everybody back and then they'll get left open underneath for that screen. So a really good uh, change of pace there. Uh, but this is the last play I'm going to show the tight end spot. I have a few more plays out of this, but I'll leave that uh, for the ebook. Uh, and I'll, I'm probably going to have extras on the Patreon as well uh, because of the way that this series is uh, is going. I think I've done like seven, eight plays already, and I only plan to put out like six on the uh, on the actual um, on the actual YouTube. So we'll go ahead and we'll uh, pick the tight end spot here. Yeah, this play here you can run a couple of different ways. You can put Hill on a slant, or you can put him on a streak. Um, I typically like to put him on a streak and then motion him out. But uh, a lot of times I don't want to give my opponent times to set up, so I'll just run it. Uh, I'll just put him on a streak and run just like this because one of the better plays is definitely the triangle route. Um, he's not going to be the you know the biggest play all the time, but he's one of the more consistent. Yeah, sometimes just taking a couple yards is the best way to go. Like I said, I, I you know he'll, he'll just typically get open out here for a nice catch and run. It's just this, it's not it's unless they hard flat. It's a hard play to stop. Or unless they got a really good uh, coverage guy uh, man to him in the direction he's going. And good lord, they're sending the house. I had to float that. Um, <laughs> they were just, I just saw some crazy pressure coming. But like I said, that's a very consistent route to the running back. And I'll take that every time. For speed purposes, so my opponent can't adjust his defense, I like to run it right away. But if they're running a lot of soft zones and stuff like that, there's no real uh, problem to just motion this guy out and uh, take advantage. They're actually pass let him inside. I don't know if that was a cover two or what, but I saw the window there. You typically want to run this from the center of the field, though. I've been running it to the outside because I do want to throw the zig route every once in a while. The zig route's a pretty good play. Um, it's just, you know, he just typically, like you see, the, the coverage there drops back to the last second. It's good timing. Oh, my goodness. Are you really making all these plays again? you really out there just balling like that, bro? But you can see how the, uh, the coverage linebacker there, whoever's in front of him, eventually drops back to take away that square route. Uh, there it was a good reaction, but it doesn't really matter. It's just a good play So a couple different ways to run that play. So we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna end the video on that um, If you guys want to see more Saints though, like I said, I have another uh, another uh, formation that I that I run quite a bit uh, So hit the like button for that other than that. Thanks for watching the Mad Money Shit Out If you need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team Where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below